Hey everybody, you out there? Let me see. Oh yeah, you are. Hey, this is Bill Harley. I mean, I am Bill Harley. And you probably know that, otherwise, <laughs> what would you be doing? You might be passing through. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna spend some time with you today. I got uh, some songs and uh, a story, and uh, let's do a song. You guys ready? Here we go. I love this song. I do, I've always loved this song. Yeah. Tell me, won't you tell me, tell me why it's so. Grown-ups make you hurry, then they go so slow. Tell me, won't you tell me, tell me why it's true. You always make me hurry, then I have to wait for you. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. That's your part of it. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. Standing at the door while you talk to Aunt Louise. There's nothing to do at her house, her perfume makes me sneeze. She just goes on talking, and you never say goodbye. The sun comes up, the sun goes down, I just want to die. Oh, I don't want to wait anymore, anymore, I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore, I don't want to wait anymore. the store for candy I walk up to pay I know the cashier sees me I stand there half the day she helps all the grown-ups it really makes me burn Cause when I say excuse me she says wait your turn no I don't want to wait anymore anymore I don't want to wait anymore I don't want to wait anymore Grown-up says, just a minute, I have to roll my eyes. A minute's not a minute, it's an hour in disguise. When you want my attention, and it seems you can't get through, you can just remember, I learned it all from you. Oh, I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. I don't want to wait anymore, anymore. I don't want to wait anymore. go that's what I think about that I don't know I don't know if there's a lot of weight and there's certainly a lot of sitting around lately trying to find something to do I hope you guys are doing good it's crazy isn't it though it's just really crazy we couldn't make this up we couldn't have imagined this happening but here we are together for a little bit uh, so I'm gonna tell you a story uh, that uh, some people have asked I should tell you so on Thursday I'm gonna do uh, an all request show and it's just gonna be songs I've got a lot of requests for stories and we are going to be here a little bit, it seems like, so I'm going to get to a lot of stories. In particular, I must say, a lot of people have asked for Zanzibar. And uh, I will do Zanzibar. We'll let you know it's going to take a lot. It's a long story. And I actually haven't told it for a while, so I think I might need to practice it a little bit. Anyway, we'll get to that and, and a bunch of other stuff, too. You know what I like to do now, though, too? Um, sometime while you're watching this, um, on the uh, thing... Let us know where you're listening from. I want to see all the different places. And you guys can see that online because we're all over the place here together. Um, and I'm going to tell you a story now. And like I did uh, on Friday when I told you Abiyoyo, I'm going to check in with you. And you can, I'm going to say, are you with me? And when I say, are you with me? You can hit the, the like button or the heart button or the wow button or the ah button or whatever button is there. Just to let me know that you're there. So here we go. Um, there was this girl, and uh, her name was Alicia. And Alicia 
And you know how some kids, maybe you, I don't know, because I don't know, I don't know. Uh, some kids wake up at night and uh, they hear something in their room or something. They go, it's a monster, it's a monster, it's a monster, oh, yeah! right? But it's not really a monster. It's, it's just your imagination. There's nothing really there. But in Alicia's case, actually, <laughs> it was there. There was a monster and uh, it was under her bed. And she would hear it every night when she went to bed. Her mom would come in, give her a good night kiss, say good night, get up, turn off the lights, go out and close the door, and she would hear the monster. And so Alicia would sit up in the bed and go, Mom, there's a monster! Mom, Mom! You gotta come, Mom, Mom! Her mother would come in, turn the lights and say, What is it, honey? Mom, there's a monster under the bed. Honey, there's nothing there. Mom, you gotta look, you gotta look. Honey, look, Mom, it's under there. So her mom, would get down on her hands and knees, lift up the bedspread, and look and said, Honey, there's nothing there, but Mom, I heard it. No. But I, no, honey, I don't want to come in here again. It's just your imagination. Then you go to sleep. Mom, I mean it. I don't want to come in again. And her mom would give her a goodnight kiss, get up, turn off the lights, close the door, and the monster would laugh. Oh, 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 oh. And the leash would say, Mom! Mom is laughing! I hear it laughing, Mom! Her mother would come in and turn the lights and what is it now? Mom, it's under the bed, it's laughing. Honey, there's nothing there. No, I heard it. No. I, no. Mom, it's under there. You gotta look. Her mom would get down on her knees, lift up the bread, spread, spread, say, Honey, there's nothing there. Nobody heard it. No. I, no. I, no. I don't want to come in here. Yep. Yeah, it's just your imagination. Now you've got to go to sleep, but I mean it. I don't want to come in here again. Mother would give her a kiss. She'd get up, turn off the lights, and close the door. And the monster would say, Oh, 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 oh. But mostly, <laughs> what the monster did was sing. He had a song he would sing every night. I guess he made it up himself. It was a song he'd sing right before he went to sleep. He'd sing the song and he'd go to sleep. And the song went like this. I'm a little monster underneath the bed. I'm a little monster with a fuzzy head. Just like that. Are you with me? Okay, good. Monster fall asleep. But in the morning, Alicia would get up and get out of bed and she'd look under the bed. She was not afraid to look under the bed in the daytime. She wouldn't look under night. But the monster wasn't there. And the next night, her mother would come in, give her a goodnight kiss, leave, you know, turn off the lights, close the door. The monster would sing, I'm a little monster underneath the bed. I'm a little monster with a... And Alicia would say, where do you go? Where do you go? My mom, mom comes in here. Where do you go? Where do you go in the morning when I look? But the monster just said, oh, 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 you with me? Okay. And that went on for days and days and days, and maybe a couple of weeks. I don't know exactly how long I wasn't there. And uh, until finally, one night, her mom gave her a goodnight kiss, uh, got up, turned up the lights, closed the door, and the monster sang a song. But this time, at the end of the song, the monster was still awake. It went like this. I'm a little monster underneath the bed. I'm a little monster with a fuzzy head. Oh, I'm still awake. That's all right. I'll, 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 just, I'll just sing again. And he sang it again a little bit faster so he could go to sleep faster. I'm a little monster underneath the bed. I'm a little monster with a fuzzy head. It's not work, I'll sing it again. I'm a little monster on into bed. I'm a little, it's not, can't go to sleep. Alicia sat up in her bed. She said, you have to calm down. No, it's not working. We have to sing it. No, it's not working. I need something to hold. Something to hold. Well, Alicia had something to hold. Um, uh, she had a blanket. Not the blanket that covered her, but the blanket that she had ever since she was really little. It was a blanket she held every night when she went to bed. But it was her blanket. She was not even going to give it to the monster under the bed. But it just so happened. That night, on the chair by her bed, Alicia had this little desk chair, kind of Ikea thing or something, combination there in her, in her room. 
on the chair by her bed, there was a sweater. Are you with me? Okay. And there were two things that were special about the sweater. The first thing that was special about the sweater was it was a handmade sweater made especially for Alicia by her, her mom's sister, her Aunt Renee, for Alicia's last birthday. That was the first thing that was special about the sweater. The second thing that was special about the sweater was she hated it. She didn't hate her aunt. Her mom got those two cute things. She hated the sweater. And I'm, I'm going to explain to you why she hated the sweater. You with me? Okay. I'm going to explain it to you why she hated the sweater. And you're going to understand. The first problem with the sweater, the hand-knit sweater made for her birthday, was it was made of wool. So, what's the problem with wool? Right. Itchy. Scratchy, right? And, and so, it's all right if, it's, it's all right if, like, you have a shirt underneath it and nothing is tight. Touching the sweater's not touching your skin, but if it's touching your skin, then it's skin, and then it's itchy. And even worse, uh, the sweater was tight around the neck. So as she pulled it on, I started strangling it and scratched her neck, and she was always like, ugh, ugh. and her mother would say, "Don't pull on the sweater. I, I, I can't breathe. Stop. I can't help it." And also, it was tight around the cuffs, so she couldn't pull the cuffs off. So there, it was scratchy around her cuffs, and also, and maybe worst of all, all the way around the bottom of the sweater, her. Aunt had knit these little animals running around, frolicking around the bottom of the sweater. And her aunt told her that they were pigs. No, no. She told her that they were puppies. But to Alicia, they looked suspiciously like pigs. And she did not like, like pigs. She said, I don't like these pigs. And Mama said, those are puppies. These are pigs. Those are puppies. These are pigs, Mom. I know a pig. So she hated them. I mean, who wouldn't hate it? You know, it was, it was made of wool. It was scratchy. It strangled her neck. She couldn't pull the coats off. And there were pigs, black pigs, running around the bottom of it. Who wouldn't hate it? And her mom was always trying to get her to wear that nice sweater. And she would always refuse. And she had tried that day, and her mother had failed. And so the sweater was sitting on the chair in the dark when the monster said, I need something to hold. So, without getting out of bed, because you do not get out of bed when there's a monster underneath it in the dark, she reached out, she grabbed the sweater, and she stuffed it under the bed. She said, there. And the monster said, oh. And then she heard the monster moving around under the bed. And then she heard the monster sing this song. I'm a little monster with a fuzzy sweater. Oh. I'm a little monster, now I'm feeling bad, oh. <laughs> Fell asleep, just like that. Alicia said, hey, mom. Mom. Hey, mom. What is it, Alicia? Mom. What do you want? Mom. The monster went to sleep. Fine. You go to sleep, too. Okay. And she did. <laughs> she fell right asleep. She woke up the next morning. She jumped out of the bed. She looked under the bed. No sweater. No monster. You with me? The next night, when she went to bed, her mom gave her a goodnight kiss. Got up, turned off the lights, closed the door. Left it there in the dark. And the monster started to, sit, started to sing. I'm a little monster with a fuzzy sweater. And she said, where do you go? Where do you go when my mom comes in here? Where do you go? Where do you go in the daytime? But the monster just said, oh, oh. And things went on like that for quite a while. Are you with me? They went on like that for quite a while until finally, one day, her mom said, Alicia, honey, guess what? What? Guess what? Just guess. You just tell me. No, you just guess. No, you just tell me. Come on, come on. Guess who's coming? I don't know, Mom, and you do tell me. Aunt Renee's coming tomorrow. Oh, I like Aunt Renee. So do I. And we're going to go out to a restaurant. Would you like to come? Are there french fries? I don't know. Can you check? No, I can't. Yes, you can't. Stop it. Would you, if you like to come, you can come. But I want you to wear your best clothes. And Alicia said, okay. And then she said, and I want you to wear that nice sweater that Aunt Renee made you. 
Mom, I don't want to argue about this. I want you to wear it. Mom, I don't know where it is. It's in your room. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not, Mom. It has to, it's not there. It has to be. You never wear it. No, Mom. I gave it to the monster. Her mother said, don't start that monster business again. If you took better care of your things, you know where it was. I want you to go in there and get it. That's what I want. Mom, I'm not arguing. It sounds like you are. Stop that. She didn't know where it was. That night, when she went to bed, the mom gave her a goodnight kiss, got up, turned off the lights, closed the door, left. The monster started saying, I'm a little monster. Of a fuzzy sweater. And Alicia said, excuse me, excuse me. Monster didn't say anything. Alicia said, I have to have this sweater back. Monster didn't say anything. I have to have it back because I have to wear it. The monster said, No, this is my sweater. You gave it to me. I know, but I have to have it. No, I have to have it. I just know. I have to have the sweater, because that's what I do. I have the sweater, then I sing the sweater song, and I go to sweet. That's how it works. She said, no, no, I can't sing without the sweater song. I have to have it, or I can't go to sweet. Oh, I do. She said, wait a minute. On her chair that night was a sweatshirt. She said, what about this? She grabbed the sweatshirt, stuffed it under the bed. The monster said, that's not a sweater, it's a sweatshirt. It's not a sweatshirt song, it's a sweater song. I have to do it. It has to be a sweater. At least she said, okay. She did not want to do it. But in the dark, with the monster under the bed, she got out of the bed, but she didn't look under the bed. She just ran across the room to her chest of drawers, and she pulled open the bottom drawer where all the sweaters were, and she took a sweater out. She stuffed it under the bed. She said, there. And the monster said, that's Gwen. I don't even like Gwen. She said, here's another one. No, I don't like that one. It's got stripes. They're going the wrong way. Makes me more fat. Here's another one. That's a V-neck. I don't like it. Here's another one. I don't like that one either. Here's another I don't like that one. Here, you can have some of my pants. I don't want your pants. Here's some shirts. I don't want your shorts. Here's some socks. I don't want your socks. Here's some underwear. Here's another pair of underwear. Here's another pair of underwear. Underwear, underwear, as long as it was funny. Underwear. The monster said, those don't even fit on my head. Alicia said, here, you can have my soccer ball. She put the soccer ball under the bed. The monster said, I don't even like soccer. Kicked the ball, boom, it bounced against the wall. Her mom called up, Alicia, what is going on in there? I'm trying to get this letter back from the monster. Alicia, I do not want to come in there. Okay, don't. But the monster was sobbing. I didn't even have this letter. I didn't have a sweater. Alicia said, stop crying. No, I can't. Just stop crying. I never stop crying. I didn't have a stop. You can have the sweater. I can never just take the sweater. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> And the monster fell asleep. And Alicia did too. You with me? Alicia woke up the next morning. She got out of the bed. She got down on her knees. She lifted up the bedspread. No monster. No sweater. Just all those other clothes. Including the underwear. She went down and had breakfast and a friend came over and they were playing in the backyard and her mom called out in the yard, honey, you gotta come in right now. Renee's gonna be here in a little while. Come on, say goodbye to your friend. So she said goodbye. She went inside. She went into her room and she put on her best clothes and she went in the kitchen and she hoped her mom forgot because, you know, sometimes they do, right? You with me? They just forget. They say, I'm going to do this, and then they don't do it, right? That happens. And her mom said, honey, you look so nice. Thanks, mom. You dressed up so well. Good job. Thank you. Now, go in your room and get the sweater. Mom, get the sweater. Mom, I'm not arguing. It sounds like you are. Stop that. Go get the sweater. Mom, it's not there. Honey, it has to be there. No, it's not. It has to be. You. No, mom, I gave it to the monster. Your mother said, you know what? I've had it. You come with me. Don't you hate it when they say that? You come with me. It's never anything good. It's not like, you come with me, because I'm going to give you a pony. No, it's nothing like that. It's like, you come with me. You're going to die. And you go, okay, and you go with them. She said, you follow me right now, young lady. <clears throat> young lady. Down the hallway, they went into Alicia's room. 
Her mother said, you stand right there. And her mother walked over to Alicia's chest of drawers and she pulled open the bottom drawer and she said, honey, where are all your sweaters? She pulled out the nest drawer. Where are your pants? Where are all your clothes? Alicia said, um, I think they might be under the bed. What are they doing there? Mom, I told you I was giving them to the monster to try to get the sweater back. She said, you know what? Honey, I do not have time for this. I gotta get, oh, I gotta get dressed myself. Forget it. She walked out the door down the hallway into her own bedroom. And Alicia sat on her bed. And she felt horrible. Because her mom was mad at her. She hated when her mom was mad at her. I hated when my mom was mad at me. She never knew what to do, right? What do you do when your mom's mad? There's a lot of different things you can do. Kids figure out all different things to do, you know? Maybe they just give them some space, or maybe they just say, I'm sorry, whatever it is. Try to do something. Sometimes when people are mad, you know, you just have to let them be mad for a while. It's just something that comes and goes. But at least she was sitting on the bed and feeling horrible, and her mom was in her own bedroom talking out loud so Alicia could hear, doesn't take care of her things, don't know why Emily gives her a nice damn thing at all, I'm, what am I going to tell her? And, oh, she said, I can't even find my shoes, my own shoes. Where, Alicia, I hope you're happy. And then she heard her mom say, oh, I can't, maybe they're under the bed. And then she heard her mother scream. She had never heard her mother scream like that before. She jumped off her bed, out the door, down the hallway, into her mother's room. Her mother was in the corner of the room. Looks like she's trying to climb a wall like Spider-Man or something. She said, Mom, what is it? Her mom said, there, 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 there's something under the bed. Alicia wasn't afraid. She ran over. She dropped on her knees. She lifted up the bed's bed. There it was. I'm a little monster, and I got some news. I'm a little monster with some fancy shoes. The monster was wearing Alicia's sweater inside out, backwards, ripped down the sides. How unfortunate. And on the monster's feet were her mother's high heels. And Alicia said, oh, so that's where you go. And the monster said, oh, oh, oh. And Alicia's mom said, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't realize. And Alicia said, that's okay, mom. It's hard to believe. Her mom said, well, now what are we going to wear? And Alicia said, mom, we can wear anything. Irene won't care. And they did. And she didn't. And that is the end of that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Whew. so, <laughs> you know, when I made that story up and, uh, I came up with the, uh, the, the little monster and I started to talk like the little monster around the house all the time, I guess it's time for us to wash our hands for dinner. And pretty soon, my wife Deb started to talk like she was a little monster too. And for weeks and weeks, and even still, sometimes we start talking to each other like it's the little monster and you know, little monster's friend. Man, it's pretty, pretty strange, isn't it? Pretty strange. I'm gonna do one more song for you. Um, I did this song because I was thinking about, uh, I was thinking about questions. One of the things that we're going through right now is. We just have all these questions uh, about what's happening. And uh, it's kind of frustrating because uh, right now, some of the questions just don't have any answers. You know, you can say, when am I, when am I gonna see my best friend again? Or oh, how long I have to do this? Or, or when are we gonna go back to school? Or when can I do this? When can I ever go to a restaurant again? And the thing is, um, we just don't know the answer. Sometimes. Questions can only be answered by living them, you know, by, by, by time. Um, what I do know is um, we're going to do all those things ago again when it feels safe. And I think especially kids ask a lot of questions because 
they don't know as much as adults or, or they, they kind of assume that the uh, grown-ups know all the answers. And so they just keep asking questions. I remember uh, our son Dylan, who's all grown up now, uh, he asked so many questions every day. And he would ask questions about this. What is this? Does this taste good? Am I going to like it? When are we going to do this? I don't go and do this. Can we do this? And it's just all day long. And one day, I just, he was driving me so crazy. crazy. I said, I'm going to, I'm going to count the number of questions he asked in a day. And it was like 742 questions he had asked. And of course, I had only had answers to about 15 of them. Because that's what kids do. But the other thing about questions, so sometimes, you know, you're driving, ask a question all the time, and you're kind of driving your mom or your dad or maybe your, your, your brothers or sisters crazy, your grandma crazy, because you just keep asking them. Um, but mostly, I think asking questions is a good thing, especially um, if it's something you don't know how to do. Uh, a lot of times, people don't ask questions because they're afraid if they ask a question, they're going to look like they're dumb. Like, everybody should know that, and I don't know it, so I better not say anything. But one thing I've learned is that, well, I'll sing this song, because it's kind of one thing I've, I've learned. This really happened to me. When I started kindergarten, everything was new. I wondered where the bathroom was. I didn't have a clue. I didn't want to look too dumb, so I didn't ask, just suck my thumb. When I couldn't hold it anymore, I left a puddle on the floor. That's true. You got to ask if you don't know. You got to ask. That's how you grow. If you're not sure, don't be concerned. Go on and ask. That's how you When I got a little older, my neighbor hired me to work out in her flower garden, pulling up the weeds. I never pulled up weeds before. Which ones were flowers? I wasn't sure. Afraid to ask, when I was done, I pulled flowers, every one. It's true. You got to ask if you don't know. You got to ask. That's how you grow. If you're not sure, don't be concerned. Go on and ask. That's how you learn. It might seem crazy, but it's true. Sometimes time's asking some dumb question is the smartest thing to do. It took me awful long to learn these things I'm telling you. You might be a bit like me and have done some dumb things too. The message that I'm here to sing, no one I know knows every. So if I'm smart, I guess that I will ask dumb questions till I die. You've got to ask if you don't know. You've got to ask, that's how you grow. If you're not sure, don't be concerned. Go on and ask, that's how you learn. You got to ask if you don't know. You've got to ask. That's how you grow. If you're not sure, don't be concerned. Go on and ask. That's how you learn. So 
So listen, um, that's all for today, right? And I'll see you uh, Thursday, 1 o'clock Eastern uh, Standard Time. I'll let your friends know. I'd love to have them join us. And uh, it's in all requests. So if there's a song you'd like to hear, uh, let me know. You can go to my webpage on uh, my webpage, BillHarley.com. There's a little badge at the top uh, that you can click go right to this mini concert thing. And you can send in your request uh, right there. So if you could go to BillHarley.com, you'll find it. It's so nice to be with you. I got to tell you, um, this is what I do. And for the first couple, for the first week or two, I didn't know what to do with myself. Suddenly, I couldn't do shows anymore. And everybody who had wanted to hire me said, I'm sorry, you can't come. So um, even if you're far away and I can't see you, um, I feel like this is kind of what we're supposed to do. So I'm really glad you're here. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye.